So these are the lick mats that I use for Azul. He doesn't particularly like the puppy baby food kind of stuff anymore. So this is like a um, fresh pet. Um, it's not a raw mixture, it's cooked, but it's a mix of fresh meat and veggies. And of course, this is a cheaper brand, so it's filled with chemicals too. I always get accused of accidentally saying it's raw. It's not technically raw. But, so it's basically like a wet food, um, comes in this big six pound roll, which usually lasts Azul a good two weeks. But so for this particular lick mat, I don't push it too far in, only because then he struggles and gives up. But it's one that has the suction cups on it. So I will use the Frisbee so that it doesn't stick to my counter. Then if I want to stick it to the floor later, it's easy to pull off and stick to the floor. Or if I'm sticking it to the bathtub or shower or whatever. So basically, I'll just sprinkle as much of this food on as I want him to do. And I'm using this bigger one today. He doesn't like those bits of rice, so I'll pick them out. He doesn't like this. Or, yeah, this one has small bits of rice. If they're tiny, he's fine with them. If they're big, he doesn't like them. So, like that one right there. That one's big. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But <laughs> um, so this one is what I would use like when I need a meal. He hasn't had breakfast yet today, so I'm going to kind of load it kind of heavier. And then I'm going to take a handful of kibble and kind of sprinkle it on top and then push it down in. And so then this is going to go in the freezer and then he's going to have a treat to enjoy while the puppies are coming into puppy class as well. So typically when I don't want to use that much, I'll use one of these small poppet things as well and do basically the same thing. The reason I love these, if I don't break the spoon, <laughs> is that it spreads really easily to go in there even though this is more consistent or more thicker than the baby food but it allows you to um, fill in all the holes really good and then pop it out as a frozen treat. And I actually have some in the freezer that were already made in molds that I can show you what it looks like when it's frozen. So I might use, like I use the lick mats more often if I'm just gonna drop it in, you know, on the floor and let him enjoy his dinner while I'm doing something or trying to use it for a training session but if I specifically want it for training session, then I will use a mold more like this, or like my Easter ones that I just bought. I have bunny faces and bunny butts. <laughs> <laughs> so these are basically ice cube trays or um, silicon baking molds, whichever you want to use. And so I will load them in with treats. I will put these two in the freezer, so if you want to follow me over here, drop and get them on the floor. If I'm using them right away, then I'll just pop them in the freezer empty. If I'm not using them right away, then I'm going to put them in a baggie like that. That's actually a sardine mixture and a couple of mozzarella sticks just to keep it from sticking to the bag. And then this is what you get when you put it in a mold. Once it's actually frozen, you can pop it out have a little treat that you can hand to the dog. So those are nice um, turkey treats that I made a while ago. And here are my adorable bunnies. This is a blueberry and a cream cheese mixture. Makes adorable little purple Easter bunnies. And of course the bunny butts have to be in their own bag. So that's a great way to get some um, fruit into your dog's diet if they're really picky mixing it with the cream cheese could make it a lot um, more tasty and that fruit and vegetables are good for them. So that's our basic looky mats. Hope you enjoy.